Today's project, we're gonna be taking this maple dresser, probably from the 80s. It's solid wood, great bones, but we're gonna give it a farmhouse style by painting the base, stripping the top, and doing a bleaching technique that we've never done before. First order of business, we gotta get this top sanded down so we can start getting bleach on it and changing the tone of the wood. I'm using 80 grit on my random Orville sander. This is a three amp DeWalt, and this thing's been amazing. We use it all the time. The top is all sanded down, and now I'm just gonna take some 220 grit just to smooth it out. I don't really have any squiggles that I can see. The grain is pretty tight on this, but it's a little rough to the touch. And when we get this wet with the bleach, it'll probably raise little fibers up and be rougher. And I don't wanna have any of that when I go to seal it. It's time to start bleaching the top. We've actually never done this before, so this is an experiment for us too. And I've just got a spray bottle here. I'm using germicidal bleach. I think that's just regular household bleach. It's concentrated. This is a gallon of it. I think it was $3 down at Home Depot. And I'm gonna be using a respirator because it is full strength. I don't wanna be breathing that in and choking and coughing all day. So gonna put the respirator on, pour this in, spray the top down, and I'm gonna let that dry and go from there. I'm gonna let this sit and dry out. Once it's dry, if there's any kind of dust or residue or anything from the bleach drying out, we'll wipe that off with a dry towel and then hit it with some more bleach and just keep going until we get the color we want. When we got the piece, it was missing some of its original hardware. So I'm gonna be filling all of the hardware holes. I'm using all-purpose Bondo putty. It works on all kinds of different materials, wood, metal, plastic, and I'm just gonna get a good healthy amount here. Put some cream hardener on it. And then fill all these holes where the screws go for the old hardware. First round of bleach is dry and it's noticeably lighter. Going on with round two. Bleach round three. Bondo's all dried up. I'm gonna get the respirator on and sand these flush. All right, all the holes for the hardware is now sanded down flush where I put the Bondo in it. I'm gonna cover up anywhere I expose the wood. I'm just gonna spray it with some Zinzer Bullseye Shellac. That'll keep any of the tannins or oils from the actual wood from coming up through the paint when we seal it. So this is the third bleach treatment. You can see down here, I'm having trouble like having it not blend in with the background here on the garage door. It's getting so light. I think we'll do one more and we'll call it right there. You can kind of see the contrast down here to the top. Last bleach treatment, this is coat number four of bleach. We haven't been doing any sanding or anything in between, just drying it out, spraying it again. So we're gonna go ahead and brush a couple coats of beadboard on this. We're not spraying it because then we would have to tape off the top that we've been bleaching. You can see that it covers pretty well. So I usually do two coats, sometimes people do three. I know I'm gonna be distressing it so I'm not worried about perfect, perfect coverage. Someone took it upon themselves to carve their name in the side of the dresser here. So I'm just taking some 220 grit and sanding that lightly. And then I will shellac that like we did on the drawer faces. We actually had to, after I started painting this, wipe it all down, lightly sand it and shellac it because I didn't make sure all the bleach was off and it was peeling off the original finish. And so it was essentially peeling as I was painting it. So make sure when, before you paint it, if you've got any bleach that leaked over the sides, that you get it all the way off. 
This is what happens when the bleach gets on the previous finish at full strength. So you can wipe it off real quick and this won't happen. Otherwise, you're gonna have to sand back down like we are. This is four coats of bleach and dry, so we're just gonna go ahead and use a damp cloth to neutralize that bleach and get it ready to seal. My rag is just damp with water, so that way it won't mess with the sealer. What are you doing? What am I doing? I'm putting the second coat of paint on this. <laughs> <laughs> I got like... Pretty I much getting full coverage though with two coats, aren't we? Yeah, although I need to spray this. This has a lot of bleep through right here. I missed that somehow, so. I had to spray some shellac on here because I noticed after the first coat we had some more bleed through. I'll let that shellac dry completely and then I'll put that second coat on just this drawer. We're hoping the top stays this light once we seal it. I'm sure it'll darken up a little bit. I don't want it to yellow though. That's what I'm worried about. So we'll see. We'll, we'll see how out. it takes the sealer. We could just put some real stain on it. Just, just throw that out there. Yeah, it wouldn't yellow if we real stained it. Ah, it'll be all right. We'll try it out. I've got my desk mask because the next step is going to be using my orbital sander. I've got 220 sandpaper, which is my go-to for distressing. I like to go across the top and smooth it out and then distress on the edges. Once that's done, Zeb's going to hit it with the sealant. We like to use Top Coat by Sweet Pickens. It's our favorite. It's nice and matte. And then we'll drill some holes and put some new apothecary hardware on. All right, Jamie got some apothecary pools from Amazon and I'm kind of debating, do I put one here in the middle? Do I not? I'm gonna have to put two on this one here and don't tell her, but I'm kind of just gonna eyeball these. I don't know about getting the ruler out on this. I'm just gonna line them up and hope for the best. All these drawers are different sizes. Every single one is throwing me off. And because of these small sections here, I have to put the rest of these way out so that they fit. I think it'll be all right. It'll look good once we're done. I might get a ruler out eventually. I haven't decided. Best practice on these is to drill a little pilot hole. If you don't, these screws that come with these apothecary pulls that, that we get from Amazon are not super tough and you can strip the head of the screw off really easily. Now to see if I lined everything up right. Because in all honesty, I really did eyeball these. I know this is a look we've done a lot, but this is the first time we've done a bleach top and I think it turned out amazing. Lighter woods are really coming into trend right now and sometimes it's hard because woods tend to lean yellow and orange and the bleach really helped neutralize that. One of the things I liked about it was all I did was sand it, spray it with bleach, and then I walked away until it was dry. And then I sprayed it with bleach again, walked away until it was dry, and then just kept repeating that process. We ended up with four coats of bleach on here and then to neutralize it, just wiped it off with a damp rag. Be sure to go to jamierayvintage.com if you want to use the paint and top coat that we used. The top coat is really awesome because it gives it a nice matte finish without being too shiny. Be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage for more DIY.
hit the subscribe button.